This is a walkthrough video of how my new 30 pound sportsman robot that will be competing at Motorama 2014 in Harrisburg, how it works, uh, how it's different than other robots, how it's different than previous versions. It's still a flywheel powered flipper robot. Instead of having a normal sort of rear hinged flipper, I have what's called a four bar mechanism. So the whole arm sweeps up and forward. Out here. Whole arm sweeps up and forward to flip the opponent, and in this case, it actually keeps going to make it self right a little bit better. Take the top plate off here. It works much like my other versions of my robots have, but it has a few big improvements. I still have a brushless outrunner motor powering a flywheel on the back. You can sort of see it through the end here. Big black flywheel. Weighs about 4 pounds. Spins about 8,500 RPMs. And then on the front, I have a silver sorry, a silver coil drum I'm calling it, and that job is to coil the rope up, you can see the rope down in there, so when this spins up, it winds in this rope, which is attached to the flipper arm, so the trick is to take the spinning flywheel in the back and link it to the coil drum when I want to flip. And that magic happens with this clutch setup. So, in between the two, I have two gray Colson wheels. And they're just soft rubber. They're here. They're just soft rubber. And they are on a sliding clutch assembly. It goes up and down. At the bottom of the stroke, I have little hooks, you can sort of see the hook right here, that go over catch plate it's on the clutch right here. And so when the clutch is disengaged, push down, those hooks snap over top of those plates and a little spring in the back here, Let's see if I can get to it. See that rubber band? There's a spring behind it makes it so that this latch tries to stay forward. And I have a servo here with an arm on it. And to fire the weapon, I make both servo arms on both sides of the robot. So I have a matching setup over here. Push back on their latches. And if you watch the clutch when I move this, the, this clutch plate is going to slide straight up. So the servo pushes the clutch back and then gets back out of the way. And you can see that the servo is not touching the latch, so it can move freely here. And it's trying to push that direction. And after it releases, the flywheel that's spinning winds in the coil drum, just like in previous versions. And that winding in pulls the rope here so that the flipping arm goes through the stroke and when it gets to the end, this big rubber stopper here hits that white part on top of the clutch and thumps it back down where the latches catch it. And then the arm rotates back and the flywheel is easy to move again. Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate the mechanism here. Put my weapon lock back in. Normal Team Wanaji power switch over here. Turn the weapon on. Full system. Actually, there's only one switch. And when it first starts up, the servos start by cocking the whole mechanism so that the flywheel can move freely. And then On my transmitter, I drive around with the right stick, I run the throttle with the left stick, 
and I flip by flipping this switch down. So I'm going to hit this switch, keep an eye on the clutch here, and you'll see the little servo arm wiggles that way, and the whole clutch assembly slides up in the air. So we're going to zoom in on it just a little bit here and see it again. When it does that, the flywheel is now touching the clutch wheels and the whole thing rotates together and that starts that whole winding process. And then the arm is supposed to come over, I'm supposed to come over, hit the clutch plate, relock the mechanism, and I'm able to trigger it again. Alright, so if I trigger it, and for some reason the arm is able to get through the stroke and it doesn't recock. If I leave the throttle down for more than three seconds, the servos will automatically recock the mechanism. Let's try that again. I'm going to do it without the weapon lock because it's kind of in the way. So I freed up the weapon. the servo, whole mechanism relocked. Now the flywheel can spin freely again, I can power up for another flip. And that's what makes Magneto different than any other version of any flipper I've ever seen.